did it. Last week was a horrible week for the future Hall of Famers. We'll get to that in a moment, but right now. Uh, I got to be a part of that horrible week for the future Hall of Famers. But uh, it was a horrible week for another individual in the form of Kevin Morgan at the hands of this man right here, your ICW Impact Division champion, Aaron Deal, the Bronze Bull Aaron Ladies Deal. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your IZW Impact Division Whatever champion, you want to say about this man, the Bronze Bull Aaron Deal. He has Aaron been one of the top Deal. fight competitors in IZW since its inception. The second IZW champion, the second man to ever hold that title, and he's held it six times. Six different times, more than any other star in IZW history. He is not shy about sharing his accolades, and I certainly don't need to go over them right now. You know Aaron better than just about anybody in this locker room. You've been beside him. You've been across the ring from him. But what he did last week before the show commenced, what he did to Kevin Morgan was beyond the realms of normality, beyond any type of reasonable behavior, not just from a, from a champion or a wrestler, but from a human being. You know, you're exactly right, CM Burnham. It was sickening. And you know, I don't know what has happened to Aaron Neal. Uh, we have been friends for many a year. When he calls himself the standard bearer of IZW, you know, maybe he is when you look at the accolades. But it seems like he has the hardest time believing that he is the standard bearer himself and he's trying to prove it to everyone to the point that he felt like he needed to do that to the image of fear last week, Kevin Morgan. For seven days, ever since last Saturday, a week ago, I've been looking forward to right now. And I'll tell you why. See, I, I, had, I had this grand vision in my head. I had planned on coming out here and showing all of you the video footage of exactly why I was so happy. Because anyone who was here last week knows exactly what I'm talking about, and I was just gonna relive that footage of last week when Kevin Morgan, right in the locker room, right over there, And you may not like it, you may not care, but guess what? The reason you're not gonna see your commissioner, Jeff Wolfenbarger, here tonight is because he's busy scooping up Kevin Morgan's brains from what I did to him. That a classless remark. Because all of you saw it, and I was told that I couldn't air that footage here tonight for all of you to see because IZW as a company did not want to be associated with such a vile act. They didn't want to relive what I did to Kevin Morgan, but guess what? Guess what? It's gonna happen again. Because tonight, I know Kevin's not here. I know Jeff's not here. Because I don't know if Kevin knows who he is anymore after what I did to him. But what did y'all think was gonna happen? You allow the commissioner of this company to conspire against me to try and take what is mine, the IZW Impact Division Championship, I beat Kevin Morgan. And I beat him again. And then last week, I beat him for good. Kevin Morgan, from this day forward, will never be the same again. And it's because of me. And I certainly hope that he is not proud of that. But you know what? I'm going to give everyone here tonight a preview. A preview of what's going to happen. Because it's not going to be me putting this title on the line against Kevin Morgan. No, it's not. Because, unfortunately, Kevin is trying to find his mind. What's going to happen is that evolution, I'm going to come out to this ring, and I'm going to let all of y'all See that I am everything I say I am. I am the most dominant champion, period. And just like in Evolution, tonight, I'm gonna take the night off. I'm gonna go in the back, I might have a couple beers, watch the show, just like in Evolution. Hell, I might, I might come out and sit with y'all. I mean, y'all are, are such big fans of mine, right? Huh? Who wants to sit with the Bronze Bull at Evolution, huh? Crack a cold beer, watch the show. 
what do you think, Johnny Z? I mean, your little brother's not here to speak. What do you got to say? Well, what, are you going to come and see? Well, I guess the bronze bull wants to have a little face-to-face -face with the owner of the company. I know that I was looking forward to having Johnny C sitting here on commentary with me tonight, but sometimes when other management members can't be here, the owner has to step up and be in charge. And as we said, when Aaron Neal was on his way to the ring, there is nobody in that locker room that knows Aaron Neal as well as Johnny C. They have been the best of friends and they have been the deadliest of enemies. Ask Fantastic. You get two entrances for nothing. Awesome. I get two entrances because I'm Johnny Z, right, people? Hell, let me show you this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, y'all better get loud this time, too. Are oh, we going for the trifecta? I think we're going for the hat trick here. Well, anyway, now that he's left, we can get back down to business. At Evolution, you're going to see me, the Bronze Bull. Come. I can't believe that Aaron Neal actually believed that Johnny C was just running away. Kevin Morgan last week, and you said, gave some cockamamie excuse about we didn't want to be associated with such a vile act. No, I don't think you want to have to watch the coward that you've become, is what I think is the problem. So you know what, hey. Well, I mean, if you don't agree, Let's have a look at last week. I mean, you didn't want the video play, but I have a little pool around here. So let's go ahead and see exactly what Aaron Neal did to, to Kevin Morgan last week. Let's see how tough Aaron Neal is. Okay, fans, I guess we are gonna show this video. And uh, if you have not seen this video, it's, it's very, very graphic. Right there, right across the head by Aaron Neal. Uh, that was just the beginning of what happened. This is a blindside attack before the show began. We're not done. We're not done. Not by a little bit. There's so much more, Kevin. So much more to this. We are not done. Aaron Neal just leaning straight onto the throat there. Referees trying to come in, trying to get Aaron to back off. And that right there. The full impact of the steel chair right across the head. I, you see me? Okay, you can cut it. You can cut it. I am everything. Cut it. You know. I thank you, John. Even, thank you. I'm glad. Thank you. I'm glad you made me watch that. Yeah. Thank well, you. Well, you're not going to be glad July 16th at Evolution. I can promise you that. Because I shouldn't be surprised. I remember just two or three years ago, 
I saw you turn yellow. I remember when you left me in the impact chamber to have my head caved in and you ran off like a little girl. Yeah, yeah. but I also remember that I came back, I stood toe to toe with you and I fought you. And that's the same thing Kevin Morgan's gonna do at Evolution. I've been on the phone with him this week. My brother is with him right now, making sure everything's all right, making sure every checkup with the doctor comes back, making sure he passes every concussion protocol. Because the image of fear is going to put the fear of God into Aaron Neal at Evolution. I can promise you that. And it doesn't matter if you're the Impact Division champion when that night comes or not. I'm sure he'll have no problem kicking your ass all over this arena. Because, you see, I've got an idea here tonight. I don't think someone like you deserves to wear that Impact Division championship. That championship was created to be put on someone that made an impact here in this company, and it's been a long time since you've done that. Oh yeah? How about asking Kevin Morgan's head about my impact? Well, tonight, we'll see if you can make an impact. We'll see if you can hold on to your Impact Division Championship because I am making an Impact Division Championship match right here, right now. I don't care what my little brother said about you not putting that title on the line. And not only am I making you put that title on the line, I'm making you put it on the line in a triple threat Impact Rules match right here tonight. Oh, oh, and it gets better. I can do whatever I damn well please because I am the owner, I am the founder, I am the natural born leader of IZW. And so let's introduce your first opponent because your match is right now, some bitch. Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring out the first opponent, the returning Skylar Faden. Skylar Faden back in the Impact Arena. One of the definitions of high flying cruiserweight action, and we have not seen Skylar Fade in here in the Impact Arena for quite some time. But this kid came down here to ICW and faced off against one of the toughest that ICW had to offer, was offered a job on the spot. I was right there when John said, you can be a part of our roster anytime you want because you have all the heart and all the determination that anybody on the ICW roster should have. And Skylar Faden, don't let his size blind you. Don't let him. Don't let him. Are you positive? I just want you to know, Aaron, although you may not be too worried, as I have found out numerous times, dynamite does come in small packages, brother. So I'd be prepared for that. But don't just be prepared for that. Don't just be prepared for the returning Skylar Faden. Be prepared for the return of this man. Oh, man! Well, from one extreme to the other, we saw Angel Camacho return two weeks ago. And he is exactly what he says he is. He is big, he is bad, and he is sexy. And he is a two-time former Impact Division champion. He has held his own against all kinds of competition. And he is always a physical threat in that ring. We need a ref. We need a ref. Aaron Neal with no opportunity to prepare, no way to know that this was going on. And he finds himself up against two top caliber competitors right here in ICW. And very, very easily, one of them could walk away tonight as the new Impact Division Champion. Aaron Neal has held that championship for quite a long time. In fact, he's one of the top 10 longest reigning champions here in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, current champions, I should say. If you give me a moment to look up here on Oklafan.com to see exactly how it is because that's why I Right here tonight, out. baby! New Impact Division champion, one of these two men. Go ahead and announce it, Tuck Davion. It was November 14th of 2015 when Aaron Neal 
defeated Double D. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. It is a triple threat match. Introducing first challenger number one to my right in pink and black, he is the Glitch, Skylar Faden. It is great to see Skylar Faden back here in the Impact Arena. And what a and way And introducing to come back. second to my left in blue and red, he is big, bad, and sexy, Angel Camacho. And a former two-time Impact Division champion himself. And the third competitor to my right, wearing black and maroon, he... I don't even know where to begin. I really don't. I, I'm not going to go into it. You are currently looking at the current, the reigning, the defending Impact Division champion. I am the standard bearer, the real deal, the bronze bull. The man who decorated the locker room with Kevin Morgan's brains. Aaron, are you done? Aaron Neal! Uh, Aaron Neal always wanted to want to put over his own accolades, uh, as if the IZW crowd was really, really interested. Yeah, I remember a time when Aaron Neal was a nice guy, and, and that was a nice day, but that was just one day. I gotta step my game up. I got, I got the man beside me here. PC KSWO going out to the region. Big things in the works. I'm telling you right now. I've got meetings going on with people. Uh, I probably we're going to have some big announcements, Mr. Burnham. TV is just the beginning of it. Um, yeah. Well, I'm very, very I excited to hear. I can't go too much I into it. If I keep I talking, next understand. thing you know, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking things out. We don't need to know you. I completely understand. Uh, while we were going over that, Aaron Neal appears to have decided that his best efforts will be on the outside of the ring right now. And I mean, I think that's obviously a mistake. There's no way he can win the match on the outside. And it does appear that uh, that Camacho and Faden are going to take that battle right to him. We'll be back after these messages. IZW's next phase of evolution is July 16th. What better way to witness IZW evolve than a VIP seat? For $12, you get ringside seating and be a part of the end crowd with a 5 p.m. meet and greet with Nemesis. For only $8 more, evolve your seat and get all this plus front row seating and the one night only evolution t-shirt. Reserve yours now by calling 580-699-7IZW. Saturday, July 16th, watch firsthand as IZW evolves. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy went to Maverick Barn for the best deals and a fast loan. Whether you're stuck in the mud or sniffing out the best price, the best solution isn't a random roll of the dice. We sell and loan on games, movies, laptops, and rings, TVs, tools, trailers, and bling, subwoofers, tablets, and countless other things. There's no time to waste. Come visit Penelope's favorite place to roam. She guarantees you'll go wee 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 all the way home. So where do you go for great deals, fast cash, and even stuff to mow your lawn? Of course, it's Maverick Barn. 357-4911. Impact Zone Wrestling brings live action entertainment to a whole new level. V Legacy in Oklahoma Wrestling guarantees to get your blood pumping with adrenaline. Every Saturday night, TV tapings and live pay-per-views all at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F Avenue in Lawton. Tickets available at the door. Doors open at 6, the show starts at 7. And now all active duty military get in free with a valid ID. Cool off with the IZW world and our cold AC. Then prepare for Impact every Saturday night. 
Saturday, July 16th, IZW presents the ninth annual Evolution. Nemesis challenges for the Tag Team Championships of Faith Days to Diamond Dogs. It's Impact Rules, when Aaron Neal defends the Impact Division Championship against Kevin Morgan. A Falls Count Anywhere Women's Championship match as Skyler Slice defends against Erica. And a Triple Threat IZW Championship match where Double D faces Jordan Jacobs and a mystery opponent. Plus, see Johnny Z, Jermaine Johnson, and much more live at the Impact Arena, 109 Southwest F. Saturday, July 16th, IZW Evolves. We're back with more action tonight on Impact TV. Now Faden, again, concentrating on those kicks, going downstairs with them. Irish whip reversed there by Aaron Neal, who picks up Faden's spine buster. You know, Skylar Faden, a guy that hasn't been seen in eyes. Oh, That's not again. it. He kicks out a guy that hadn't been seen in IZW for quite a few months. Another guy making his appearance back here at IZW in the past few weeks. Uh, Angel Camacho returned a few weeks ago. Uh, quite an exciting competitor, Skylar Faden. A never give up attitude, never quits. And he is hanging right here with two very large gentlemen here tonight. Aaron Neal looking to capitalize to put away Skylar Faden. Faden continues to fight. If if Aaron Neal hits Skylar Faden like that a couple more times, I think the fight might be over. There, yeah, there may not be a, much left of, of Faden here, but Faden He's in up. the corner. Camacho backing up, looking to charge into the corner on Neal himself. There's a collision there. Neal down. Camacho not going for the pinfall too quickly. That may be a mistake on his part. But maybe he's looking for something else. Maybe he can sense that he hasn't quite done enough damage to the bronze bull. Uh, he's been a competitor. You know, you could be 100% correct, Burnham. Sometimes we are scouting our opponent. Oh. We are scouting our opponent. He might think he's had enough now. And look at Faden quickly moving in there. I don't the think this ball. is going to work uh, yeah, out. You can, you can see Camacho look at that. And I think that partnership that we saw at the beginning of the match, I think that is all in the past now as uh, Camacho and Faden. And this was the match that brought Skylar Faden into IZW, his very first night here. He worked against uh, Angel Camacho. He put on a tremendous showing there, was not victorious, but really impressed. I remember the locker room being very impressed with how much heart Skylar Faden has. Well, here at IZW, we're always willing to give anyone a shot. Any competitor that wants to come here and throw his hat in the ring, we're the, oh, we're there. Uh, we're willing to make it happen. We're willing to give him that opportunity. You're right, Skylar Faden, his first time here competing in the ring against Angel Camacho. Tonight, after being gone for six or eight months, he's getting a shot at the Impact Division Championship. Oh, face first down goes Faden by the bull, who now turns his attention over to the fallen Angel Camacho. It just goes to show that any time here at IZW, you can end up becoming a champion, having, having a chance to shoot straight to the top of the ladder. Another close pinfall attempt there by the Impact Division champion. And John, you've been in your share of triple threat matches. What, describe to the fans what's, what's different, what's more threatening about a triple threat match than just a standard one-on-one -on -one match. Well, I mean, obviously the first thing is, you, you know, while you're concentrating on one guy, the other guy's just plotting on you from behind. It doesn't matter if he's down and out, laid out, he's still thinking, he's still aware, like right here. You know, Aaron can't just battle one guy because he's always got to worry about another guy. That's the first aspect. Then there's no disqualification, no count out, no time, you know. So there's always going to be a winner. There can be no disqualification. If Aaron Neal does not win this match, if he does not pin someone to the, the mat or make someone submit, he will not retain his, his Impact Division Championship. And that is probably the biggest difference. A triple threat, there must be a winner. And that is not always the case in a singles one-on-one -on -one match. Well, right now, the Bull finds himself after colliding. And right now, he could lose the title without even being in the ring. These two men, it can happen between them, and he doesn't even have a chance to stop it from happening. Aaron Neal out on the outside. Faden with an opportunity, hooking that tree trunk leg. And coming again so close to the three, you can see the frustration beginning to mount from Skylar Faden as he tries to draw some energy from the IZW world and tries to figure out what he can do with this big man. He can't muscle him around. Faden continuing to try and use those uh, 
those feet and those knees. Sorry to leave you on your own for a second, Burn. I'm having to do a little paperwork. Plus, my stomach's starting to grumble. Oh, man! Oh, kind of like Skylar Payton's body. What a collision. Camacho has got to weigh twice what Phaeton does. And the full impact, no pun intended. Oh, man. And Camacho now headed up to the top rope. This move is damaging enough to a normal sized competitor. But if he connects with this on Faden, no! Faden out of the way, thankfully. Camacho down. No, man! Right to the back of the head on Camacho, and now Camacho to the outside. The bull back inside the bull picks up Faden. Greetings from Mount Olympus. And that's it. Your winner, you know, and still, I, my stomach I is already rumbling. Impact that just Division made me completely champion, sick to my stomach. Okay. Bull, okay. Aaron no, take, take care of what you need to do there. Well, while Johnny Z don't take care of some, uh, some personal business, despite the efforts of both men, we uh, still have your Impact Division champion as the bronze bull, Aaron Neal. And now we wait to see what will be happening in a couple of weeks. All right, fans, we're going to step aside here, pay some bills. We'll be back in just a moment. Do you need money? Cash. Moolah? Greenbacks? Then get down to Maverick Pond, where we can make you a loan on the gold you don't want to lose, or we can even buy your unwanted gold and silver, too. Either way, we'll give you top dollar for your gold and silver. If you don't have any of that, we also make loans on flat panel TVs. Go. iPads and tablets. Go. Windows 8 desktop and laptop computers. Go. Xbox Ones and PS4s. Go. Lithium ion power tools. Go. Beats audio devices and much more. Go. We'll give your precious valuable safe while you get back on track, get yourself out of a hole, or just get your party on. So where can you run when you're under the gun? It's Maverick Pond. 357-4911. Friday, July 1st, following Nightline on KSWO ABC TV. IZW returns to your weekly television schedule with the new one hour edition of Impact Television. Featuring the latest action, interviews, and clips from IZW. Make sure to be at the Impact Arena for Adrenaline every Saturday night for live TV tapings and a chance to see yourself on TV. Check out IZWrestling.com on any device for more info and let Impact Zone Wrestling invade your living room every Friday night. Once again, your Friday nights just got a lot more interesting. Whenever you go looking for a tattoo, what do you look for? A good deal or a good tattoo? At Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio, we believe a good tattoo is a good deal. And when you leave our shop, you'll be proud to show your tattoo to the world. So instead of going for others' supposed good deals, come to Impact Inc. and get a good tattoo. Our spacious surroundings are covered in the most flash you've ever seen. And our artists will help you find or create the tattoo you've always desired. So remember, a good tattoo is always a good deal. Get yours at Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio, the best deal in town. IZW's next phase of evolution is July 16th. What better way to witness IZW evolve than a VIP seat? For $12, you get ringside seating and be a part of the end crowd with a 5 p.m. meet and greet with Nemesis. For only $8 more, evolve your seat and get all this plus front row seating and the one night only evolution t-shirt. Reserve yours now by calling 580-699-7IZW. Saturday, July 16th, watch firsthand as IZW evolves. 18 years, 18 years in this business. I've been out there in front of the people, talking to them, wrestling in front of thousands. I am going to be an interviewer. I'm going to be an interview. I don't know how to interview people. It's so easy. I mean, i I got I to find these people and apologize to them about, oh, my gosh. I didn't think I'd be so nervous. How do I do this? I mean, how do these people make it look so easy? We, we were so, so. Oh, hey, hey. John, how you doing, man? It's been a long time. They, they, I, 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 hey, they hired, they hired me to be the interviewer, man. What are you? I, I don't what know. are you doing what, outside what, the bathroom? I don't know what I'm doing. So you? They want me to be an interviewer, and I'm supposed to interview people. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, you're here. So you want? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do an interview. I'm sure Burnham can wait. Okay. Well, we'll let's, do this. Let's, let's, uh, let's Who start with this. My brother? Yes. Oh. I know you. I know you're not running things. Well, let's just start off. Let's just break the ice. Okay. We heard the toilet flush. You okay? Everything come out all right? I mean, is that not I mean? That's... I, 
that's probably not in the realm of questions you should be asking. We'll just think, why don't we keep it to wrestling? I mean, I'm doing good today. I feel good. The show's nice. Hot crowd out there. Let's let's get let's get to the show okay. to wrestling. Let's get to wrestling. It's something yeah. I know a little bit about. By the way, I am super excited to be your very first interviewee. That, that's Would that be it? Yeah. Thank you. All right, man. We go right. back so far. We here did, we are again. We did Thirty-seven years. Thirty-seven at least. Okay. At least. Okay. Guam. Okay. Guam. Yeah. We sold that out. Remember that? We did. Okay. Let's go back and think. As everybody's been watching IZW, you go back and look. The last few months, there's been people out the door. There's been people coming in the door. And now the multi-million dollar question is, who is the third person that Sean McHale has for that main event, Evolution? What's in your mind? Who do you think it is? You know, you just said, what did you just say? You said IZW is always evolving. Yes. That's where the iPay-Per-View Evolution came from. Yes, sir. You know, we, I mean, think about it. You hadn't seen, up until two weeks ago, you hadn't seen Johnny Z in like, I don't know, two months? Yep. Something like that? And up until a couple weeks ago, you hadn't seen Jermaine Johnson for three months? Three, two, three, I don't know. And I mean, up until a couple weeks ago, you hadn't seen Montego Sika. Where did that come for from? For like 77 oh, months. God, I no. mean, yes, we had Blackout. Blackout was back in the oh, building. That goes back you know what, I've got a surprise for you. Blackout is going to be back in the building next week again. That's right. I was on the phone with Jermaine Johnson while I was in. You're busy. Either way, I was I was busy. I was talking to Jermaine, and, you know, they're going to be here next week. Yeah, He's talking to Montego. Big announcements, big things. Blackout back in the house. Hope you all hear that. You're here for it. As far as evolution, man, it is the multi-million dollar question. Hey, you're doing great as an interviewer. I mean, I have no idea. I really don't. It could be anybody. Based on what we've seen, uh, Cambridge came through the door. You know, I mean, uh, Ray the Bay. You know, so I mean, we're, they're just people coming off. I have no idea who Sean McHale could have. I mean, years ago, I brought in Brent Albright. Out of nowhere, no one would have thought he was, you know, wasn't the best move I ever made. But We all make bad moves sometimes. Eh, well, I normally don't. That was a bad one. That was a bad one. You don't make too many bad ones. Listen. Thank you for interviewing me. You know, hey, who do you think is going to be the third member? Who do we think is going to be the third member? I don't know. I know I'm the other member of the uh, announce team out here tonight with Mr. Burnham. I have to do that. He's done waiting. Okay. I'm sorry. Got Ladies it. and gentlemen, there you have it right there, straight from Johnny Z. Stay tuned and keep your eyes open. We'll find out who's going to be at Evolution. Thank you. ICW Evolution, July 16th. As I said, our next huge pay-per-view. You see it right there. It's going to be the next step in development for ICW. But man, well now, Stryker is now a, a backstage interviewer. That's great. I didn't even see him back there. But congratulations, Stryker, on having your first interview there with Johnny C. I, and hopefully, over the coming weeks, you'll learn to maybe set those things up in advance, not catch people when they're coming out of certain private areas. Anyway, as I was saying last week, a very, very bad week for a lot of people. Bad week for the future Hall of Famers. Bad week for Kevin Morgan. But uh, this week. The future Hall of Famers are certainly hoping to recoup some of those losses as we will see Skylar Slice take on or defend her women's championship against both former champion Athena as well as brand newcomer here to IZW, the San Francisco Treat Phoebe, who we really don't know a lot about. And as we just got through discussing in the last match, triple threat matches, very, very dangerous scenarios because you can't be sure where opponents are coming from. And, oh, and Johnny C, I, I was really expecting your music. I wasn't sure what's going on. A fourth entrance, is that what you, you know, want, baby? I, 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 I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't kick that out I'm of bed. I'm trying not to toot my own horn, you know what I mean? Grandstand, I don't want a grandstand. Well, we were just talking about evolution. We were talking about the uh, the matches tonight, the attempt of the re to recoup the losses on the part of the future Hall of Famers and the horrible week they had last week. We know that Skylar Slice is going to be facing both Athena and Phoebe for the women's title. And then a man that you know very well, or at least your foot knows very well, Nathan Estrada, is going to be taking on the 2016 Impact Player of the Year, Jordan Jacobs. Jordan Jacobs, yes. man, a guy finally going to get his shot to ascend to the top of the IZW mountain. But, you know, as much as I love Jordan Jacobs, and we go way back, 
I'm not sure I see how he overcomes that. He is super focused, but at this point, Jordan Jacobs has never gotten over that hump, never attained the top of the mountain. So I have to put my money on Double D right now with being able to reach that, that next gear. Well, it will definitely be a major, major match, main event match, come Evolution, come in two weeks. We'll see who it is, what it is that brings people up there, whether it's the hunger or whether it's the proof. But right now, we are on our way to a triple threat match a women's title defense as uh, again this the a future match hall like of this that, hey 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 oh, come out. back here a match like this that you can only see live in the impact arena or if you happen to be watching on abc tv on her way to the ring right now the former icw queen athena and uh i always get a very very uncomfortable feeling when she steps through that curtain because Honestly, she's a weird she bitch. She is, isn't she? I, I mean, I, I would never call her that to her face, but uh, but she is indeed. She's not just several picnic or several sandwiches short of a picnic. She's missing the blanket, the basket, the whole thing. There's no understanding of what's going through her mind as she makes her way out here into the ring and, and she wears the gas mask. She she seems to hear voices from somewhere, and she is a dangerous, dangerous competitor once she steps in that ring. But she got some really cool music. I like her music. And she has been the now defunct Queen's Crown Champion before. We yes. now have the IZW Women's Championship as uh, Skylar Slice has so decreed. And, uh, obviously, my brother and Sean McHale don't have a problem with that, as they uh, have allowed that to happen. And I, you know, I for one, I'm all right with that. I've always liked the Queen's Crown, but I, I think the women deserve their own form of a championship belt as well. Uh, no different than the men. Uh, they put on one hell of a show. They come out here and put their bodies on the line, just like every one of us do. And I think that the IZW women's division uh, is something that should be uh, admired and respected by everyone. There is no women's division that I have seen in over 15 years worth of time that is more competitive than the women that set foot here into the Impact Arena. We have seen all kinds of vicious matches. We've seen dog collar chain matches. We've seen ladder matches. We've seen brutal, brutal. Queen's crown on a pole matches, crown, yes. falls count anywhere. That's what's happening at Evolution. We have a falls count anywhere match with Erica uh, going for the IGW Women's Championship against Skylar Slice. I don't know if you know that yet, but it's in aware. the match commercial, uh, so. Well, there you go, and we just saw this young lady last week as she made a, an impromptu appearance coming out to, to save the team of Callista and Erica from, a, from the interference of Nathan Estrada. This is the San Francisco treat, Phoebe, with her hula hoop. She is a very skilled practitioner of the hula hoop arts, and she is also a relatively new competitor uh, here in uh, professional wrestling. She's had a handful of matches, and she's willing to step right up here against the best and the brightest when it comes to ICW opportunity, ICW competitors. And she's going to have her hands full because right now we are about to see the women's champion for ICW. She calls herself Dominant Skylar Slice, and you see there with her, her, uh, well, associate, the Spanish fly, Nathan Estrada, but there she holds aloft the thing that means the most to her, the ICW Women's Championship. She proclaimed herself the first women's champion. She said, we don't need a crown. I want to be recognized on the same level as all the other competitors here in ICW. And that means having a belt and being recognized as that type of champion. Fans, we're gonna have more action for you when we come back right after these messages. 
IZW's next phase of evolution is July 16th. What better way to witness IZW evolve than a VIP seat? For $12, you get ringside seating and be a part of the in crowd with a 5 p.m. meet and greet with Nemesis. For only $8 more, evolve your seat and get all this plus front row seating and the one night only evolution t-shirt. Reserve yours now by calling 580-699-7IZW. Saturday, July 16th, watch firsthand as IZW evolves. Never-ending creativity is what you'll find at Impact Ink Tattoo Studio. 1008 Southwest 11th Street is Lawton's largest tattoo shop and filled with more flesh to choose from than the eye can see. Want something a little more personal? Need help making your idea come to life? Our artists will collaborate or create custom art just for you because a strong customer base from top-notch results are what we thrive on. As always, walk-ins are welcome. We'll call 580-699-7530 to make an appointment. And remember, a good tattoo is always a good deal. Impact Ink Tattoo Studio. Endless possibilities. Impact Zone Wrestling brings live action entertainment to a whole new level. The legacy in Oklahoma wrestling guarantees to get your blood pumping with adrenaline. Every Saturday night, TV tapings and live pay-per-views all at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F Avenue in Lawton. Tickets available at the door. Doors open at 6, the show starts at 7. And now all active duty military get in free with a valid ID. Cool off with the IZW world and our cold AC. Then prepare for Impact every Saturday night. Saturday, July 16th, IZW presents the ninth annual Evolution. Nemesis challenges for the Tag Team Championships of Faith Faith the Diamond Dogs. It's Impact Rules, when Aaron Neal defends the Impact Division Championship against Kevin Morgan. A Falls Count Anywhere Women's Championship match as Skyler Slice defends against Erica. And a Triple Threat IZW Championship match where Double D faces Jordan Jacobs and a mystery opponent. Plus, see Johnny Z, Jermaine Johnson, and much more. Live at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F. Saturday, July 16th, IZW Evolves. And I'm now being joined by three-time ICW Tag Team Champion. The striker, welcome to the broadcast booth. Latina charges in. Now goes to hoist Phoebe up. Scott, or I might want to get back in there. Out in the fireman's carry. Ball away slam right there. And up, but does not carry through with the pinfall. Again, the, I mean, I, I would question why any normal competitor would do this, but this is Athena. We can't really guess why she does much of anything. I don't think she knows. And now, Slice oh. with the fall away slam. And Slice with a stop right to the midsection of Phoebe. The power of Skylar Slice. What is this? What is this? Oh, oh. And slams Phoebe now. That goes down to cover both ladies. And almost gets the pinfall out of that. Slice grabs both ladies by the hair, but both of them now two on one type situation. Oh, look at the power of Slice! That she runs through My both God, of them. Man. It's just like she's toying with these girls. Slice down with the pinfall on Phoebe. Is not able to get that one. Goes quickly over, covers Athena. Referee Martin Justice around. And is unable to get that one as well. And, and, and Slice is irate. And Slice now. Smart move. Athena to the outside. Leaving her in the ring with the less experienced competitor. This is a smart move on the exactly, part of Slice. Exactly, exactly. That's a good move on the champ right there. Get rid of the dominant one. Slice swings and misses. Goes oh. for the back kick. Misses that one as well. And Phoebe, look at Phoebe. Look at Carrying this. Slice around and takes her over. Go for that pin. Phoebe oh. looking perhaps to go for a coup de gras here. Gonna go upstairs. Oh, look out, look out. Yeah, look out for Athena. Athena trying to, to cut out oh. off here, shoving her off the top. And now Athena gonna make her way upstairs as well. Oh, and Nathan Estrada. Nathan has, has Athena's gas Got her mask. mask. She is not liking that. Athena saw that. Athena taking her eyes completely off of the champion and Estrada. 
Estrada running around, drops the, the mask on the outside on the ramp. Meanwhile, slice with the back slice. And Skylar she Slice retains the women's championship. With just a little help Your from winner and still IZW women's champion, Skylar Well, you say a little bit of help from Nathan Estrada, but it was a very important amount of help from Nathan Estrada because that extra outside assistance not only allowed Skylar Slice to retain the women's championship, but may have done some extra work to help convince the future Hall of Famers that he should be a full-fledged part of their group. That's all he seems to want now. He wants to be taken seriously, and he just helped the future Hall of Famers retain one of the parts of gold that they have here in ICW. Yes, he sure did. Well, okay, fans, we'll be back in a moment with your main event on Impact Television. Are you tired of the same old birthday party? Well, now's your chance to hop in the ring with your favorite IZW superstar. See yourself on the big screen while you experience your own personalized entrance. Customized cake and bounce house available. Hop into the ring and go crazy. And then take all the memories home on DVD and Blu-ray. Call 580-699-7IZW and party like an IZW superstar. Whenever you go looking for a tattoo, what do you look for? A good deal or a good tattoo? At Impact Ink Tattoo Studio, we believe a good tattoo is a good deal. And when you leave our shop, you'll be proud to show your tattoo to the world. So instead of going for others' supposed good deals, come to Impact Ink and get a good tattoo. Our spacious surroundings are covered in the most flash you've ever seen. And our artists will help you find or create the tattoo you've always desired. So remember, a good tattoo is always a good deal. Get yours at Impact Ink Tattoo Studio, the best deal in town. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy went to Maverick Barn for the best deals and a fast loan. Whether you're stuck in the mud or sniffing out the best price, the best solution isn't a random roll of the dice. We sell and loan on games, movies, laptops, and rings, TVs, tools, trailers, and bling, subwoofers, tablets, and countless other things. There's no time to waste. Come visit Penelope's favorite place to roam. She guarantees you'll go wee wee wee, -wee all the way home. So where do you go for great deals, fast cash, and even stuff to mow your lawn? Of course, it's Maverick Barn. 357-4911. Friday, July 1st, following Nightline on KSWO ABC TV. IZW returns to your weekly television schedule with the new one hour edition of Impact Television. Featuring the latest action, interviews, and clips from IZW. Make sure to be at the Impact Arena for Adrenaline every Saturday night for live TV tapings and a chance to see yourself on TV. Check out IZWrestling.com on any device for more info and let Impact Zone Wrestling invade your living room every Friday night. Once again, your Friday nights just got a lot more interesting. Did you see me out there? I mean, I knew I was going to be the dominant women's champion of IZW, but I didn't realize it was going to be that easy. Skyler, you work out there, dude. Nathan, you got to listen to me right now, okay? This is very important that you pay attention to what I'm saying. We are undefeated so far tonight. We are 2-0. and oh, You pay attention to me, me and I when I'm talking to you, okay? We are on a roll tonight. It's the opposite of last week. That week that you ruined when you lost twice, okay? But we have to go undefeated. We have to build momentum going into evolution. Isn't that right, Luke? He's absolutely right. It's essential that we have momentum on our side because evolution truly is going to be that for this group. We've got this third member coming in. He's going to be the ICW you champion. You understand that? Do you understand that, Nathan? Well, like, he's talking, look at him when he's talking to you. We're, of course, going to maintain our tag team titles against Nemesis, and we know Skyler's going to get the job done. Everyone has to be firing on all cylinders. You have to take this serious. I don't think you're serious right now. Are you serious? I can see your eyes. He's talking to you. He asked you a question. Are you paying attention? You have to be serious. You can't go out there looking like the '70s had sex with a pack of fruit stripe. Okay? You have to get serious about this. You have to be win tonight. It's Jordan. It's just Jordan. He's been here seven years. Hasn't done anything. It's Jordan. Okay? You know he's just gonna tread water. You can be on the upswing with the future Hall of Famers. But you have to win tonight, okay? You can't screw this up like you screwed up everything else. You can't make us look dumb like you've always done. You have to go there and you have to be useful for once, Nathan. Guys, guys. He knows the importance of this match. Your future depends on this. Guys, guys. Calm down, okay? I'm about to bring style to the future.
main event. Here we go. entertainment to a whole new level. The Legacy in Oklahoma Wrestling guarantees to get your blood pumping with adrenaline. Every Saturday night, TV tapings and live pay-per-views all at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F Avenue in Lawton. Tickets available at the door. Doors open at 6, the show starts at 7. And now all active duty military get in free with a valid ID. Cool off with the IZW World and our cold AC. Then prepare for Impact every Saturday night. Do you need money? Cash. Moolah? Greenbacks? Then get down to Maverick Pond, where we can make you a loan on the gold you don't want to lose, or we can even buy your unwanted gold and silver, too. Either way, we'll give you top dollar for your gold and silver. If you don't have any of that, we also make loans on flat panel TVs, go. iPads and tablets, go. Windows 8, desktop and laptop computers, go. Xbox Ones and PS4s, go. Lithium ion power tools, go. Beats audio devices and much more, go. We'll keep your precious valuables safe while you get back on track, get yourself out of a hole, or just get your party on. So where can you run when you're under the gun? It's Maverick Pond. 357-4911. Never-ending creativity is what you'll find at Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio. 1008 Southwest 11th Street is Lawton's largest tattoo shop and filled with more flash to choose from than the eye can see. Want something a little more personal? Need help making your idea come to life? Our artists will collaborate or create custom art just for you because a strong customer base from top-notch results are what we thrive on. As always, walk-ins are welcome. We'll call 580-699-7530 to make an appointment. And remember, a good tattoo is always a good deal. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio. Endless possibilities. IZW's next phase of evolution is July 16th. What better way to witness IZW evolve than a VIP seat? For $12, you get ringside seating and be a part of the end crowd with a 5 p.m. meet and greet with Nemesis. For only $8 more, evolve your seat and get all this plus front row seating and the one night only evolution t-shirt. Reserve yours now by calling 580-699-7IZW. Saturday, July 16th, watch firsthand as IZW evolves. Nathan Estrada is really, really showing, I think, I think everybody here has got to say, he is showing everyone exactly how serious he is at being a top contender here in ICW. Absolutely. If somebody's been in that ring, I tell you, when this, this match is over, no matter who wins, they both know they've been in a fight tonight. Uh, Estrada trying to go for a standing cross body. Jacob's down from underneath that. Good Inzaguri there. Now with both men down. Now it's time to reach down. Somebody's got to reach down, get on top. Very important. Whoever can get to their feet, get to a vertical base first, will have an advantage in this situation. I think it's going to be, well, it is Jacobs. Uh, they're still just, looking pretty even. Just barely, just barely ahead of Estrada. But just enough for him to pull that off. These calf kicks. 
doing all kinds of damage to Nathan Estrada. You can't keep either one of these guys down. And Estrada, Jacobs pulling that off, dropping him face first. And I think Jordan's about to count it down oh. as he drives those knees into the nose. He might rearrange that face. Estrada, and this could well be it. Jacobs with the leg hook and two and a half, maybe two and three quarters. That was close. Reversal now on the Irish whip by Estrada. Estrada charges in but meets the boot by Jacobs. Jacobs now walks up and down. Carrying Estrada over. Maybe that's it. Oh, he kicks out again. I do not know where Nathan Estrada is finding this energy. But now, Jordan Jacobs said it is time to turn Nathan Estrada's lights out. Oh, he look here. Look here. And Skyler Slice in. No! Oh! With, with the referee's You got to be turn, kidding me. Slice. Straight to the cojones of Jordan Jacobs. Somebody and needs to get her away. Estrada down with the pin, and that's got to be it. Oh, no. Jordan comes up. No, still. Jordan down. is up. And Skyler Slice is in total disbelief. I mean, Shauna's throwing a fit. She scored spot on with yeah. that. Yeah. Estrada can't believe it. Slice can't believe it. Jordan Jacobs still in this match. Estrada. Estrada's getting him again. Pick him up. Oh, he comes back. And takes the rip down there. Oh. The elephant kick from, from Jordan Jacobs. It goes for the pin. Hooks both legs, but referee to Daniel Maverick. Oh, he's got him. In the path of that, they, they can't make the pinfall. Jacobs now going to the top rope. And here comes, oh, here they come. Here come the Who knew dogs. it? Jacobs quickly out of the way there, but now Jacobs faced with essentially a three on one situation. Well, I say three on one. Look who we dogs. got here. I think that's what the dogs want to see, believe. Oh! There we go. Johnny Z pits him out. Johnny Z pulling the rope down on the Diamond Dogs. Jordan! Got him again. Straight with a sick kick right to the chin. Jordan upstairs. Jacobs looking for the light switch. Johnny Z is keeping these guys busy. Light switch. Oh! What's up, baby? Pin. One, two. Yes. And the streak is broken oh, for tonight. Goodness. What a match. These guys went toe to toe. It was a fight. I was beginning to say, what's going to take to get these guys down? What's going to keep them down? Well, Jordan Jacobs picks up the victory here. And he almost had to fight all three members of the future Hall of Famers by himself. But the help there from his longtime compatriot, the natural born leader, Johnny Z, ruins the night once again for the future Hall of Famers. And they, the dogs and, and Skyler are definitely unhappy with Nathan Estrada. That's not looking good at all. And Slice grabbing Estrada by oh, the look at, Oh, my God. Leading her out. Fans, we thank you for tuning in tonight. Until next week, for Stryker, I'm C.M. Burnham. So long from the Sooner State.